What up, what up, what up, beautiful people? It is your boy Shannon Coleman Sr., a.k.a. The Rev. And I'm just here, you know, on this beautiful Saturday afternoon, just sitting here chilling, thinking about some things, falling back in my, you know, solitude, if you will, Um, just looking at life and looking at what's been going on around us in the world today. So uh, we all know um, that it's been multiple shootings, multiple killings, some by cops, some by us, some by other people, you know, and it's it's really uh, draining. It's really becoming um, saddening over and over again. Every time you turn on the news, every time you uh, you turn on the radio every time you open your window, you look outside every time you drive into work, every time you're driving to school, there's another murder, there's another death. And um, I don't know if it's the news that's just broadcasting it more or if it's just that the death rate or the death toll has just has been growing um, steadily since I was a young buck running around in the uh, city of Philadelphia. However, it, it it really mourns me. I, I I'm really uh discouraged about uh what's been going on in the city and how um our politicians and and even our neighborhoods have been dealing with the murder that's been going on in our neighborhoods. So today I just wanted to just talk briefly about a, a solution. How do we begin to uh fix that which is broken? How do we begin to Go out in the cities and educate these young people and give them a sense of hope um, in this hopeless environment that they're living in today. How do we begin to uh, educate these parents as to how they should or can work with their children to to see what it is that they're doing in, in, in the streets and bring them back home? How do we begin to do those things? Um, we've been beat down. We've been carried out we've been let down we've been all of that yet we're still striving in some sense of the capacity uh, but what are we really really doing you know um we can sit here and we can continue to bring blame uh each other we can continue to blame the government we can continue to blame the police we can continue to blame everyone but we have to Take a look within, right? I'm not saying that, you know, I'm blaming the parents for what it is that their children are doing out here in the streets because children will be children, kids will be kids, and they sometimes they don't follow the rules. Sometimes they don't listen to what mommy and daddy tell them to do. Sometimes they rebel. Sometimes they act out. Sometimes they, you know, feel as though that they have the right to to, to be you know what I mean, Uh, disobedient and rebellious. I understand that. I'm not saying that that's not the case. But what I'm saying is how do we begin to heal as a community and as a people? I'm tired of hearing is this person's fault, is that person's fault, is this. or Yes, I I know, I get it. As I always say, I understand systemic racism. I understand that racism is a real thing here in America. I see it every day on social media and in the comment session sections of, of, of different posts and all of that. I see it. I understand that it's true. But what do we do as a people? What do we do to combat it? I yeah, We could march. Yep, we did that. We've been doing that for years. We've been doing that for generations. We've been marching. We've been rioting. We've been looting. We've been praying. But what else can we do? How do you defeat an enemy that's not afraid of you? How do you defeat an enemy That's not afraid to show you their weapons. That's not afraid to use their weapons in broad daylight. How do you defeat an enemy that's not cloaked or that's not hiding? Because they don't fear you. Because they know that you're military. That your sh- your soldiers are not organized. 
we Gen X, Generation X, it's time that we step out of the shadows. It's time that we stand firm together, united. It's time for us to stop looking at making that fast money, that corner boy money, because of all of the mob movies that we watched growing up, because of all of the glorification of, of drug dealing and, 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 and sexism and all of that stuff that we saw growing up. It's time for us to step out of that mindset and take the lead. These young boys, they don't have no guidance. They don't have any guidance. They don't understand right from left, left from right. And the only people that can help them, the only people that can give them that guidance is us. And we can lead them to the hell and to the grave, or we can lead, lead them to heaven and paradise. What are we going to do? Let me know. Remember, I love you all with the love of God. It ain't nothing you can do about it. You can do all things through Christ that gives you strength. And never forget, I am my brother's keeper. Peace.